All right, so today we're going to be putting a fax unit on a Bisub C360. So we've got our fax card here, as well as the interface, which you'll need. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is come around to the right side of the machine, and John's going to show us how. You're going to open up this cover, and the fax card's going to slide in where this plate is here. So you're going to need to remove that plate. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this cover, and you're going to have a couple screws. They're just Phillips screws. And obviously make sure that you have your power turned off before you uh, unplug anything. So four screws. And what kind of does these covers, sometimes the plastic um, connects in with the other cover. So you have little pieces that you might have to finagle to get out, out from under the other. So once you're here, uh, you're going to go ahead and pop off this cover. Your machine may not have this, but they usually do. Um, but if for some reason it's missing, that's okay. All it is is just a faceplate. Now you're going to have two slots. You want to use the first slot. So once that's out, um, you're going to go around to the rear of the machine and you're going to take off the middle back cover. And this is going to expose the uh, main control board for what's the interface. We'll plug into. And from here you'll have several screws and they'll have little arrows uh, letting you know which screws hold the rear cover plate on. So in here, you got your main control board, you got your hard drive, so now we need to put on the interface card. So you need to remove, do you have to remove the hard drive, John? Yes. Okay, so you have to remove the hard drive, so you got two connections, and then two screws, which are going to hold the mounting plate on, and that'll take the whole hard drive off the machine. And how many screws, John, to put the interface on? Uh, there are four screws. Four screws. Make sure you put the uh, horizontal one towards the rear, so okay. that way it plugs right in. Got it. So it's going to mount to the bracket, which the hard drive sits on. Then you just push in. Push in, it'll make that uh, connection that John was talking about. And you just have your two cables. All 
All right. Then you have now you gotta remount the uh, hard drive uh, assembly plate. That's just two screws. Okay, so now that the interface is on there, you can go ahead. I would put the fax card on before you put the back cover on. That way you can uh, make sure that it's got a good connection. <coughs> so there's your fax card. The lines go towards the bottom when you're putting it in. All right, let's come around to the side. And again, you're going to make sure to remove the plate from the front slot. And you're going to see little grooves on where the board's going to sit. And there's a little track on the bottom. All right. And it's going to slide in. It's going to make this connection here. And it should, yeah, like John's doing to use the back for support, but once you have it in, it should sit flush at the very front. For some reason, it's not sitting flush. Take it back off, or, uh, reseat it. Uh, once you have it in, then I would, uh, you've got some little hand tighten screws here on the front, top and bottom. Just finger tight. Okay. Then you can um, you can reassemble, or if you want to turn the machine on now, just to make sure everything's correct, but so you don't have to put it together and take it back apart. So um, I would recommend just turning the machine on. Uh, to do so, get the front door, main power switch here, and we're going to have to now enable uh, the fax option on the machine. Uh, we have to basically tell it that we've installed the fax card and we do that through the service mode um, and I'll show you how to get into that. It'll just take uh, 30 seconds or so for the machine to initialize. And we're using the C360 but this will work on the C280 or C3, C360. Alright, should be coming ready any second now. Uh, that's just because we have papers in the dock here and aren't pushed all the way in. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, when, once this ling language selection button uh, comes out of the grayish, it's going to uh, let you know that you're okay to log into the admin mode or tech rep mode in the machine and that's where we're going is the tech rep mode there you go once you see that come to normal color you can select the utility slash counter key then you're going to touch on meter count then you're going to touch on check details and to do this to get into the tech rep mode um, you're going to click stop zero zero stop zero one that's going to take you into the service mode from here, uh, is it System 2, John? Yes, it is. System 2. Then you're going to see Option Board Status. And then you're going to see Fax. Um, it's just going to be the Fax Circuit 1. Click on Set. Then click End. Then click Exit. Now to uh, complete the uh, uh, process, turn the machine, open the front door, turn the machine back off, give it about 5-10 seconds. And then we're going to turn it back on. All right. And if for some reason it's not uh, installed correctly, you're going to get a failure code. B003 uh, should be the failure code for the fax unit. If for some reason it does come up in a failure code, uh, the process and to reset a trouble code on these machines is you'll turn the machine off on the main power switch, then you would hold the utility slash counter key, keep it depressed, turn the machine back on while still keeping this utility slash counter key depressed. When it comes on, um, keep it held and then you'll see a little black circle that shows up in the upper right corner. Once you see that, you can let go of the utility slash counter key and eventually it'll go into a trouble reset screen 
and it'll show trouble reset. You just press trouble reset and then it'll say uh, turn the machine off and on and then you'll turn it off and on again and then you can reseat your fax connection and for some reason that's the issue. Uh, so once it comes up, uh, if you click on the fax slash scan option, click on direct input, you should see the option now for fax and a way to test would be uh, plug your fax line in. When you plug the line in, you're gonna have two options here. One's gonna be for telephone, one's gonna be for line. Line being the one you're gonna wanna use, and that's the one on the bottom. So plug into there, and once you're connected, if you click off hook, you should get a dial tone. We don't have anything connected, which is why we don't, um, but you should get a dial tone. If for some reason you wanna change any of the fax settings, you'll click utility slash counter, Administrator settings. The default password's one through eight, so as long as it hasn't been changed, you can use the hard keys on the bottom. One through eight, then okay. You're gonna see number eight, fax settings. And here's a bunch of settings. If you wanna set your header, your sender number, um, transmission settings, so you can choose what paper size it prints on. Uh, and then also in here, uh, report settings. This will be for your activity report, if you want it to come on daily after 100 communications. The transmission result, you can set it, this is the most common one people want. Whether it's going to tell you if it went through or not, um, whether it always prints it, or only if it fails, or if it never prints. Um, that's all done in admin mode. Another way to check it is reset or log you back out. If you come to job list, make sure it's selected, then job details. And then send and job history. This will be your scans as well as your faxes. They'll show up in here and then ones that you've received. You can click on receive and this will show you your job history, um, faxes that have, have come in. Um, that should be it. That's how you install the fax unit on the BizHub 280 and BizHub C360 models. Thank you.